So today, um, I just finished The Four Winds by Christine Hanna, and I'm going to give a short and quick review. So, um, this was my second book from Christine Hanna. The other one was The Nightingale, and personally, I think, um, I prefer The Nightingale. Um, it was better, and I like The Nightingale more, more than... The four wings. Now the tone, the setting of um the tone of if you read the nightingale, the tone of the four wings is almost similar. You see a woman struggling um struggling in one of the most difficult parts uh, difficult eras of our history. Um in Nightingale it was against the Nazis. Um, in the Four Wings, it was about the dust bowl and some big, greedy corporations. So, um, uh, the dust bowl in this book, um, it discusses about um, the wind storm or the dust storm. So, um, it was during in one of the darkest time in American history. So the dust bowl, um, the dust storm came in Texas and came in Texas and other states and it killed livestock um, and the crops. So it kills the livelihood of the farmer, farmers. So um, uh, it killed the livelihood of the farmers, their resources. So the struggle is they cannot sell fruits, they cannot sell any any goods because the resources are cut due to the bad, due to the worst weather. Um uh, yeah, so due to the worst weather and and Elsa the main character um and the, and her parents in law so it centers on that problem so they cannot they don't have resources they don't have funds and they are trying to Elsa was trying to feed her children where will they get the money so um the story focuses on Elsa um her two children Loreda and Anthony so and um, Anthony or Anthony, um, he was the humor of this book. Um, every time he appears, um, the the novel becomes a little uplifting because this is heavy. This book, everything tackles in this book was heavy, but not. Um, it was heavy and the feeling that you're going to get is how do you call this almost hopelessness but because of the characters struggling with their difficulties um you feel like you want to cheer for them and but the tone is heavy um if you're looking for a book to be happy um this is the last book that you should pick anyway so we got elsa Loreda, anthony and the parents-in-law tony and moves so the book started in the start of the book the farm was described as abundant and prosperous so but as you read along the story um the situation becomes worse and worse and worse so and anthony and he got he was sick so he cannot survive in the dust storm. So the family had to move out. So only Elsa and Loreda, um, the parents-in-law, they had to stay because they have to take care of the farm. So Elsa, single mother, decided to move out of the farm. So to find better, um, to find two, to find better living conditions to stay away from the weather so Anthony and Aunt can survive 
another one um they are moving out because the california if i'm right california was described as uh, this wealthy state and if they move to california they will all of their dreams will happen so of course we all know that is not the case and the the bright future they had for california all of it are uh, they face a lot of discrimination and a lot of problems so elsa was trying to just back to square one but at least anthony was saved from the weather so in this um you see we see her trying to feed her family and we see her change from the start uh, of the novel where she doesn't um she she doesn't speak up to it's very it's a slow burn but eventually elsa was able to find her voice and she became this um strong and brave woman she was already strong and brave woman from the mid part of the book but she, that transformation is she just keeps on growing and growing so elsa also had a daughter Loreda. so the relationship um also develops as you read the novel um the book is if you're going to read this um it is dark and no not dark um it fills with a lot of struggles and a lot of obstacles that will make you consider the problem that we are facing now with the pandemic that is going on and yeah so don't expect to pick this book to feel lightheaded and happy so the characters go through difficult circumstances and below living conditions so i have three criticism for this novel so three criticism um number one so number one it was um the elsa's parents so elsa's original family so my criticism is that first um elsa's parents um there are a lot of parents who are not treating who are treating their children badly but in this book um it does not feel to me the parents are um it feels to me that the parents are just treating the treating elsa badly for the sake of the plot for the plot points for elsa to be propelled to that direction so it is not um it is not there was no strong foundation um why because elsa's parents um they were treating elsa's daughters and their other children better so elsa was also their blood she was not indicated as adopted or anything so the parents should be treating elsa the same way as they treated their other children but it it turns me um it makes me shake my head and it makes me not want to read it this was this was happening in the start of the book one instance is um elsa was told she was ugly by her own mother so the moment that dropped i felt like it's not the story it's not the story anymore but just for the sake of the plot so for for the story to move forward for Elsa to be propelled because why will the mother say that to her own daughter now given that in reality there are a lot of parents who are like that yes but they are treating their other children better but why should Elsa be different so that is one that does not appeal to me and one criticism another one is um another one is at the at the mid and almost at the last part of the novel um there was a hint there was um 
there was a strong woman's storyline so I'm trying to be vague and and blurred her but without giving major spoilers but um Elsa Elsa's husband he abandoned her so Elsa's husband he abandoned her and a new guy came in so it just feels like um this is what's set for another woman's story if i want that storyline um i will pick nicholas sparks so um the husband left and a new guy came in to fill that gap and to fill that space so i feel like it is it is not necessary to add that woman's point but i can understand why christine hannah did that so El Sake can come full circle and experience life fully um, experience life fully and get something that she does not receive usually from her husband so yeah yeah that's the criticism um, I feel like the woman's point at the end midpoint of the book was not necessary the, it could have moved on it could have go the story could have progress without without them being romantically involved but again i understand why Kristen hannah did that so one criticism was the parents um it feels um it doesn't have a foundation two was the romance plot point and Number three, um, uh, what was number three? Yeah, the end of the book. So, the end of the book. So, this family they left the farm for the bigger dream, for the bigger ambition, for the bigger. Um, dream so they left the farm um, I'm trying to be vague here so they left the farm with a lot of intention but at the end of the book um, they returned to the farm so for me it does not feel right um, what is the purpose of them returning so what is the purpose of the entire story of the entire arc of the entire plot if they are back to square one so it was not mentioned if if the dust storm was okay i will have i will let you read this story so um personally i like it um i like the four wings um it is good um it is emotionally moving and there are a lot of parts that will touch you Elsa Elsa's determination to do everything for her children and her courage and the way her character grows so um, yeah so Elsa and and the things that they struggle in the past so um, I like this book um, if you are into historical fiction if you read the genre then I think you should pick this up but I personally I prefer the Nightingale because um, it is deeper and it has a lot of action that is going on and happening so this book it is a slow burn and they stay in the farm most of the time so yeah if I'm going to rate this 10 um, I'll give it 7 7 or 8 until next time